Hello everybody, my name is Ben Stone, also known as Far Shooter on the Unreal Community Forums and Answer Hub, and today I'll be showing you my new utility for the Unreal Engine called Easy Spline Utility. In short, my utility aims to make all the functionality of the spline easily accessible to the user. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to drag the ESU spline blueprint into the viewport. This is the first step you'll take in creating your spline. Now let's just move it up a bit and position the camera so you can see what's going on. Now, as you can see on the right here, there are a lot of options. Uh, I did this purposely to make it as customizable and complete as possible. But what you'll want to do right now, after dragging the spline to the viewport, Let's go to the Spline Mesh Data tab, go to the default Spline Mesh Data property. In here, you'll find a two fields, one Spline Mesh, Spline Material, as you could guess. This correlate to the actual mesh that is going to be on each Spline Mesh along the spline and the material that will be on top of those meshes. So, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to simply choose a simple cube mesh. So after doing that, you'll see that it's not populated right now. This is because it's still using the old data that was in the spline mesh data array. As you can see, I can open these properties up and their spline mesh and spline material are not set, even though I set my default. This is quite simple to fix and it's one of the steps you do when first starting. All you have to do to update those is hit this little trash can right next to the simple spline mesh data array. What this will do is remove those empty elements, then repopulate the array with what you set as your default spline mesh data. And as you can see, we got now a visible spline. Pretty cool. So I just close that off. So now that you have a spline in the viewport, let's go over some of the simple ways you can manipulate the spline. First, if you click on any spline point, you can, like any other mesh or actor in the viewport, you can move it around. You can choose scale to scale the tangents. The tangents are these dotted red lines here. That will become more prevalent once the we actually have more than one point. You can also rotate these tangents. As you can see, it's already affecting the mesh. Just leave that right there. If you want to create a new spline point, you simply right click on the spline where you want to create the point, click Add Spline Point here. We can move this point around. Everything works as it should. You can delete the spline point and everything's fine. But for now we're going to add spline points to make this a little bit more interesting so you can see some of the features I'll explain later. Just select there, create a nice simple almost curve like shape. Okay. So first up, let's look at our spline settings. And our first property in our spline settings is called Use Simple Spline Technique. Our ESU spline blueprint has two ways of drawing the spline meshes on top of the spline. The first technique is called the Simple Technique. In this technique, a spline mesh is drawn in between two spline points. So as you can see here, we have one, two, three spline meshes being drawn in between each of these two spline points. What it does is stretches the spline mesh from one point to another. Our next technique is called the complex technique. And what this does is renders 
the spline mesh at certain distances along the spline. As you can see, instead of three spline meshes, we actually have 11 spline meshes. We'll go into the differences between complex and simple a little bit later in the video. Our next property is called the spline up direction property. We'll go over this a little bit later in the video once we've hit the debug properties section. After spline up direction property, we have the spline mesh collision property. In here, you can select the collision preferences for the spline meshes being rendered along the spline. If you were to make a road or something you would want other physics bodies to interact with, you would simply open the drop down, click collision enabled. For now, I'll just leave it as no collision. Finally, we have our spline mesh forward axis. This again is another property that will be better illustrated later in the video after the debug section. So, now that we've talked about our spline settings, let's talk about our spline mesh data. You've already used this a little bit in setting up the spline, but let's go over it some more in detail. The ESU spline blueprint uses a structure called ESU spline mesh data. What this data does is hold different properties for each of the spline meshes that are being rendered on top of the spline. We can open up one right here. The default spline mesh data is an ESU spline mesh data structure. As you can see, we have different properties here the actual mesh to be rendered, the material that goes over that mesh, the twist of the uh, end of the spine, the width, and the thickness. Now, let's just bring up this. We are rendering as simple right now. And we'll just go to the first point. So the first point on the spline, or the end of the first spline mesh, is right here on the screen. So if we do twist, you'll see the spine mesh gradually twist in either direction. I'm just going to reset that back to zero. Width, as you would guess, makes it wider or more narrow. Thickness makes it taller or shorter. And you can Let's just choose a point in the middle of the spline so you see how it affects it. Choose spline point 2, which is 1. I'm sorry, it's a zero base system, so it's 0, 1, 2. So we're looking at this point here. As you can see, I can twist it as well. Change its width, thickness, etc. We'll just bring those back to their default values. That's essentially how you will be manipulating the individual spline meshes on your spline. We will go later into detail about the debug information panel and how you can use this to make that process of choosing the spline points or the ends of the spline meshes easier.